In our last lesson, we covered the idea of importing an animated object. And now what we're going to do is we're going to utilize Flow to trigger the animation. So to begin, what we're going to need to do is start with what's called a trigger. So in our Create panel, if you don't have the Create panel open up here on the top right, you can go Window and then go Create, and that will also launch the window for you. In my case, I have it in this docked uh, tab. So I'm just going to go Create. I'm going to select Helpers, and then under Trigger. OK, so I'm going to select Trigger. And I'm just going to draw out a trigger that is going to be the area that I want my character to walk into to start and stop the animation. So something like this will do, maybe a little narrower. I'll just scale it in a little bit. That should be good. And I'm just going to center it on the world because my, my door cell is centered on the world here. So there we have it. <clears throat> and I've got a trigger set. OK, now to be proper about it, let's go ahead and name our trigger. We'll call this one door trigger. And the next thing I'm going to want to do which is very important in this case, is to set the shape template to character trigger. This will say that if the character touches the trigger, it will cause a reaction. Okay. Um, if you don't set it to this, the character won't be recognized. So once done, we can move into the level flow and start connecting the pieces that will make our animation play. So let's go ahead and jump into level flow. And the first thing we're going to need is an action to start up the whole thing. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go right click and say event level loaded. This event is going to end up driving our trigger. Okay. So under level viewport, one of the nice things about Stingray is that you can actually bring into flow from the level viewport. And what I mean by that is you can select your trigger, go into level flow, right click, and say create level trigger door trigger. So as you can see, it knew that I had in the level viewport the trigger selected and that I probably wanted to create a trigger from it. Okay, so that's kind of nice and very easy. So you don't have to go looking through the menus. Of course, you can find it in here as well but it's just a much easier way to get that done. Okay, So from here, what I want to do is I want to go from Level Loaded to Enable. Okay, And what this is basically going to do is tell the trigger it is now active. Okay, So on the level being loaded, it's going to enable the trigger. So now we'll need to tell it to do something. So right click, Animation, Animation Clip Reset and Play. We're just going to move that guy up a little bit and we're going to do the same thing again. So Animation, Animation Clip Reset and Play. Because we have two animations that we're going to play. We're going to play the door open and the door closed. So upon touching the trigger, I want to play the animation of opening the door. So I'm just going to connect from touched to play. I'm going to select the animation that I want to actually have happen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the door open. And this one's pretty much set. Now I'm going to take the untouched and I'm going to drag that one into play on the top one. And I'm going to set my animation to close door. So what this is basically saying now is upon level loading, enable the trigger. If the trigger is touched, I want you to play the open door, and if it is not touched, I want you to play the closed door. The important thing here for us is to make sure that our loop is set to no, so we're going to set that to false, and we're going to set the loop down here to false. And the last thing we're going to need is to feed what unit we're going to play this animation through. So let's go back to our level viewport, let's select our door and right click and once again we're going to use that to drive our our create and it's going to create our level unit right away and we're just going to drag that into our two animation clip unit uh, 
inputs. So that's pretty much all we're going to have to do. We're going to go File, Save Level, and we can now play the level. Hitting F2 will put you into the character walk mode, and walking into the door will open it, and walking through it will close it. So again, we can walk from this side, and we can walk away. So as you can see, triggering animations with level flow is quite painless and straightforward.